These are the anatomic differences in the pediatric airway compared to adults. The epiglottis in kids is floppy and omega-shaped. This is in comparison to an adult's firmer epiglottis. The tongue and occiput in children is proportionally larger compared to adults. The larynx is more cephalad or superior compared to an adult's more caudal or inferior positioned larynx. The vocal cords in kids are more anteriorly positioned, and the subglottic region is elliptical shape and narrower in the transverse dimension. There's some clinical implications to these changes. Airway device selection must consider these anatomical differences. In kids, there's a historic preference against cuffed endotracheal tubes. They use, um, they use uncuffed endotracheal tubes because they assume that there's cricoid narrowing below the cords, and they don't need the cuff as much as you would in an adult. There's a higher risk to lateral tracheal walls due to the narrower transverse area, and you should carefully select appropriate airway management equipment. So you should consider these anatomic differences when working with kids.